どんなクソ野郎にも笑顔で対応するそれがメイド魂よメイドの道は厳しいな Welcome to watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the most insane anime that somehow aired on television. Number 10, Shimoneta, a boring place where the concept of dirty jokes doesn't exist. In a dystopian society where any sort of sexual act is illegal, a group of rebellious teens decide to fight the power by getting down and freaky. That's really all you need to know to understand why Shimoneta needs to be watched with headphones. <laughs> The show's premise is really just an excuse to justify all sorts of weird, spicy, and borderline dodgy romantic behavior. You'll have to take our word for it when we say you are not ready for everything Shimoneta throws at you, especially since it constantly reminds you that these characters should not be doing that on television. <laughs> Number 9, Onara Goro. Anatawa, Onara Goro san. Hey, Onara no yu koto nante kikanai ze. Ever wanted to watch a show about a sentient fart? Yeah, we don't either. Despite that, someone somewhere decided it was worth real life resources to make Onara Goro. It stars the so called most admirable of farts as he puffs in and out of situations to offer sagely life advice. However, it's pretty hard to take it seriously when it's coming from a living stink ball. Yasuo-kun, それはきっと過敏性大腸炎ですよ。それが原因で腸におならが溜まって苦しいのです。Onara Goro cuts the cheese across a mind numbing 13 episodes. Each one is more bizarre than the last, if you can believe it. For what it's worth, the show does make you think, mainly about who in their right mind thought this was a good idea. Number 8, Makura no Dashi. You got that, massage is yoka. 遠慮しないで言って。肩にする。腰にする。When fans asked for an intimate romance anime, it's safe to say that they didn't have this in mind. To be fair, on paper, there isn't anything inherently off about Makura no Dashi. Every episode is a small vignette about dating a new guy. The catch is that the entire anime is presented through a first person point of view. 俺はお前のこと That's right, you, the audience, are a self insert here. But when the guys take long pauses to massage you or listen to your problems, it comes across as more uncomfortable than anything else. Makura no Dashi definitely gets points for creativity, but you're better off getting your romance fix somewhere else. Number 7, Oruchuban Ebichu. Warning, this show is not as innocent as it appears. It looks a lot like Hamtaro, another anime about a hamster going on light hearted adventures. Unfortunately, Ebichu isn't quite as kid friendly. Household pet by day, unofficial relationship counselor by night. Ebichu takes it upon herself to get involved in all of her owner's problems, specifically when it comes to men. <laughs> Truly, there may not be another anime in all of existence where an adorable hamster gets in trouble for blocking her owner's chance at a man. It's scary to think of a kid turning on Ebichu expecting a wholesome tale. And getting, well, whatever this is. Ja, Nezumi san, mata ne! Che che! Number 6, Gakuen Handsome. Dekta! Dore dore? Taku ya heta da na! So ka na! 
At the start of this series, Yoshiki enrolls in an all-boys school, Baraman High. That's really all we can tell you about the plot. Not because it's filled with spoilers, but because it's so nonsensical, we'd be here all day trying to explain it. If you squint, you can kind of see Gakko and Handsome as a parody of other Slice of Life series. But that doesn't matter when it abandons any kind of internal logic in favor of some crazy jokes. At the very least, Gakko and Handsome is so unapologetically silly, it actually comes around to being great again. And of course, we're all in awe of those ludicrously sized chins. Number 5. Do you love your mom and her two-hit multi-target attacks? Like your standard isekai series, Masato is an everyday teen who gets whisked away to another world. This time, though, he goes with his mother, Mamako. Don't worry, you can't miss her. Her endowments fill up half the screen. For some reason, do you love your mom? Really loves to remind Masato of just how voluptuous his mother is, no matter how painfully awkward it gets. And it gets really, really awkward. Like hot spring shenanigans and other romance anime tropes. Watching a mother and son reconnect should never make you feel icky inside, but coming from a show like this, we shouldn't even be surprised. <laughs> Number 4. Yosuga no Sora <laughs> Man, Haruka just can't keep it in his pants. After being orphaned and left to take care of his little sister Sora, he decides the best way to grieve is to start dating. A lot. Yosuga no Sora devotes a few episodes to each of Haruka's romantic exploits. They're all lewd, overly sappy, and hyperdramatic, but they can't touch what happens between him and his sister. <laughs> Let's just say their relationship ends up going well beyond your average sibling affection. Yes, they even go all the way. It's hard to say how something this scandalous ever made it to air, or that it lasted an entire 12 episode season. <laughs> Number 3. Musashi Gundo There isn't much to say about Musashi Gundo that you can't see for yourself. The anime aired when it was clearly unfinished, earning a whole lot of fan attention for all the wrong reasons. The animation wasn't just bad, it was flat out unacceptable for a show on broadcast television. They used live action photos for backgrounds, the sound effects were frequently out of sync. and the characters spent more time off-model than on it. It's a shame the production was rushed out the door, because with a bit more time, Musashi Gundo could have been a completely solid action shonen. Instead, it's remembered as one of the worst-looking shows to ever air on TV. Number 2. Redo of Healer Keiru is supposed to be the honored healing hero, but not even he can fix our eyes after watching this. Apparently, he can't remedy his own trauma either. After suffering years of mental, physical, and worse torments, Keiru goes back in time to get revenge on his worst enemies. An eye for an eye and all that. 
Many found the violent narrative way too gratuitous for broadcast viewing, and that's without mentioning the bedroom scenes. To give you an idea of how far it goes, Redo of Healer is the kind of show that had to air with a content warning attached. It can be very hard to watch at times. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Interspecies Reviewers Buckle up everyone, this is Interspecies Reviewers, a show that completely blizzed the lines between anime and a very different kind of adult animation. It features a guy called Stunk who wants to try out every single species in bed. That's it, that's a whole plot. As you can imagine, Interspecies Reviewers gets incredibly racy, so racy in fact that it was yanked off Japanese airwaves partway through its scheduled broadcast. That's not all, its English dub got cancelled and the show was removed from most streaming services too. Considering the content, it's a miracle the remaining episodes of Interspecies Reviewers ever saw the light of day, but we are grateful for it. <sighs> What's the craziest anime you've ever seen? Let us know in those comments below. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.